but yet the angel called Joseph her husband and Mary his wife. So that means according to God, you have the ability to call each other husband and wife in the engagement stage, but yet you still don't have the full marriage. Kind of like if you got a driver's permit, you can drive, but you still don't have a driver's license, so you're still restricted. So if one sleeps with somebody else, during the engagement stage, you're still single. That's how you fornicate. Then you can put that wife away. Well, see, fornicate, fornicate is not as what we think fornicating is. I understand it's more than that. It's pornea. It's also a spiritual fornication against God. Right. I understand the, the gist of the entire. Well, well, I'm saying, you, but you saying like far as fornication, like what, mm -hmm. sleeping with a woman, not being married? Mm -hmm. Well, see, no, I, I mean, as far as in this culture, when you fornicate, cheat, pretty much. When you cheat against your wife. But see, a man you can't know what I'm cheat. Saying? That's what they say. Hmm? A, man, a man can't cheat. Because mm -hmm. it's orchestrated for us to have more than one wife. We don't practice it because, like he said, we don't, we don't, if you, the man to take us on the wife, take her on the cares of this world. Okay? Yeah, now, if you got, if you got, go ahead, brother, read. If you got stress, bring it up. This is Romans 7 and 2. Mm -hmm. For the woman which had an husband is bound by the law mm -hmm. to woman. her husband. The woman. Mm -hmm. Right. As long as he lives. Right. right. Yeah, because woman that's, yeah. was created for man. Right. That's not yeah. That's not talking about the man. The man could actually have more than one woman if you if you got the means to take care of her. Now you can't just go grab on. Oh, you got three wives. They all living in the house together, and y'all got a two bedroom. And you got Ronnie's kid. You not taking care of her. And back in them days, we had owned land. We had cattle. You could have more than one woman. But we don't, and that's another reason why, why a lot of people can't get this. They be like, oh man, wait a minute. You are, we look, we don't practice that. We already established that we're in this kingdom, we're up under bondage. We don't have nothing here. All right, so so we don't have to go out and advocate practicing. We can have, get more than one woman. It's hard enough to deal with one woman, an Israelite woman in this so, kingdom. Because when these most of these women are not in order. They're not in order. They're, right? not, they're not up under the man like they should be. Sure. Now, when I look at, again, Matthew chapter 19, it still always goes back to the beginning. In the beginning, there was Adam and there was Eve. And he said, those two may become twain as one. So they are no longer two, but they are one. Right, right, right. So again, and he didn't say multiple. He only said from the beginning. In the beginning, it was only Adam and Eve. And even in the law, it was forbidden for Solomon and them to have more one wife, but God overlooked it until... He stopped falling this one woman into these idols. What you about to say? It wasn't yeah. the thing that right. he had. The women right. it was nah. him worshiping. He, he stopped Cause, falling cause, in Because he, cause he, cause he committed the, uh, spiritual fornication. Because mm -hmm. this in the law, this is Exodus 20 and 10. It says, if he take him another wife, mm -hmm. right? Because what he right. get another wife. That's right. Him, her fool and raiment and her duty of marriage. What does it be the duty of marriage? Mm -hmm. Sex. You know? She'll not, yeah, she'll not yeah. diminish. So, so if he, so if he got another wife, yeah. he's still supposed to, you know, keep that other wife, uh, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, he's not supposed he, to get all yeah, into he, her. Yeah, he ain't just supposed to, to push side. her away. You know, you still gotta take care of her. You know, and if she, if she demands sex from you, and you, and it's not on, on a high holy day or, or you know, if it's, if it's yeah, on the Sabbath, then, then you're supposed to give it to her. Or if you're not on the fast, right. you know. Um, no, you know, so I still always hold to what he said well, from the beginning. Well, you know what? But you know what? Which, which ain't nothing wrong with that. That's not wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Right, right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Man. Right, right. Ain't nothing and, wrong with and we, and I'm glad that's on camera. Ain't nothing, it's nothing wrong with that, man. We ain't you for that, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You can have you one woman, bro. Yeah, you can. We got one woman. We ain't out here trying to get no. We ain't out here like, oh yeah, I want ten women. Yeah, yeah. We ain't in that time, right? You know, the scripture say all things are not expedient. You know. Either, either though they be good, they're not oh, a speedy. That's right, brother. Yeah, yeah lawful, Randy. but not a speedy. That's right. Yeah. That's right, brother. So, you know, yeah. hey, man, right now it's not expedient, man, because yeah. we don't even have enough to take care of the household that we in. <laughs> that's right, brother. Let alone have two women, yeah. and you know, that's not in order. They, yeah. they run off at the mouth. <laughs> and they we give have, you hell. You right. like, oh, I'm going to die next week. We more or less hasten in the day, man. We want the <laughs> kingdom know? to come, man. I, I wouldn't want more than one wife on this side, man. Yeah, it'll take up too much yeah, time. Yeah, it take up too much time, women, man. The women need and too much attention. And we don't have, we I, I'm not trying, if I got more than one wife, you think I'm trying to go to work? I ain't trying to work. I'm trying to be, I want, I want to be, I, I got to be purpose, rich. I think the purpose for Christ, marrying it out, the two shall become one because it's supposed to emulate the relationship between him, him and the and church. Him and, yeah, him and the father and the son. Come, so come. just the two. You got more than, it ain't no way, no way 
emulating what is in the kingdom. Right. That's why right. I say seek ye first the kingdom right. of God. And, and all else to be that's, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, brother. but they, 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 they two going to become one flesh right. because, uh, uh, like the scriptures say here, uh, uh, and, uh, what is that? Uh, when a man find the wife, 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 thy duty shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Uh, you know? I think that's in Corinthians. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, somebody goes to Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter. Okay, I got that. I got that. Oh, okay, good. Cool. He started there. Yeah, he started there. Yeah, he started there. No, no, first, first, first Corinthians 7 chapter. No, start from one, because all that chapter this marriage, is right. basically right. what we talking yeah, about. Yeah, what we're talking about, right. Oh, that's good, man. All right. First Corinthians chapter 7. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. So Paul says it's good for a man <laughs> not, not to even <laughs> touch a man. Right. Hey, you know? Yeah, it's really good because Paul was basically right. like, like a eunuch, man. He was so heavy, heavy in the spirit, man, that he wasn't even dealing with women, man. He was just pushing the truth constantly, teaching, man. Paul ain't had time for no woman, man. Go yeah, ahead. Like, hey, like I said, they desire too much attention. Yep. Verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. Yeah, because when you go back to, uh, go, go to the next chapter, go to the fifth chapter. Now, why, why did Paul say that? Because because they was going off in the fifth chapter. Read five, uh, five and one. Con. First Corinthians chapter five, verse one. Because they was doing this in, 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 in Corinthians, man. It is reported commonly Already. that there is fornication Already. among you See? and such Already. fornication as is not so much as name among the Gentiles. Right, so right. he was saying the Gentiles weren't even doing this because the Gentiles weren't, they, you know, they weren't keeping the law, man. You know, until Paul came and he had to teach them, you know, read. That one should have his fornication, that one should have his father's wife. That one should have his father's wife. So that was a fornication. Which is basically what? Uh, uh, adultery, man. Or what? Incest. Yeah. Now going back to chapter 7. Cut. Let the husband render unto the wife do belovedness. Yeah, we see. We just see now. Somebody else would break that down in something else. He said, yeah. what, sex? That brother yeah. on point. That brother yeah. on point. That's right. <laughs> and likewise, also the wife and to the husband. And likewise, yo. Go ahead. The wife had of, had of not no power. It's like it. The wife had of not power of her own body, mm -hmm. but the husband. And likewise, also the husband had of not power of his own body, but the wife. That's, right. That's why the scripture says it's better to marry than to burn. Than to burn, right. uh -huh. You know, because marriage, marriage, well, that's sex, you know. That's right. And that burn is like. You know, it means to come together. Right. Look up the word marriage, it means to come together. Yeah, that's right. How do you come together? How do you, how do you, yeah. uh, 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 what's the word? Consummate. Uh, yeah, consummate. Yeah, because matter sex. of fact, you got to. That's why they have a honeymoon yeah, after they ever get matter, married. Matter of fact, they have a such thing as if you, you can get married and you actually can get the marriage to know if you don't touch it. Yeah. If you don't touch it, you can go get that. But I, matter of fact, I think it's a low pay. It's it's like just a few hundred. You know, but if you consummate it, then you try to get a divorce, then it goes that like you get, get a lawyer and stuff. Right. Verse 5. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent. It's so like a consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and praying and prayer and come together again that Satan tip you not for your for your inconsistencies like and consistencies. Yeah, because you know what, the demon, if you if you if you <laughs> away from your wife and uh, oh. you're not you're not giving yourself to her like she wants, she she start looking like you know demons will jump on her, and then some some cocky dude walk past and she be looking at him like, oh, he got muscles. Because women are a weaker vessel, man. It's easy for Satan to travel in and out of women than it is for us, man. That's why. Men and women clash so much when they, when they, you know, especially right. men and right. men right. and right. Lord, right. 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 And that's why, uh, what was that Peter said? He said, honor, honor the weak of us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But I speak this by permission and not of commandment. Excuse me, boy. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, bring For I would that all men were even as myself. 
But every man had of not like it, had of his prophet. For I would that all men were even as myself. What? He was he was basically a, a unit, man. I told you. <coughs> Go ahead. But every man had of his proper gift of the power. Mm -hmm. One after this matter, mm -hmm. and another after that. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, mm -hmm. it is good for them if they abide even as I. Right, so Paul was saying it was good for them to buy even as I. Hey, he blew the horn over us. He's Jewish trying to talk shit. Say to his shit, he blew the horn over us. Hey, 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 he was mad too because he didn't see himself on the side. <laughs> hey, the Lord used two. Hey, the Lord used two people to clash each other. Because I came over there when I was blocking the side. And the okay. chick was like, and the horn. Was, and when he was mad, looking mad too, like. Ugh. So we didn't hear nothing she said, and we didn't care about what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, the dude when he came, the tall brother. He said, Yeah, I was, I was with, I was watching GOCC, but them dudes ain't got the truth. I said, I've been watching GMS for a while. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. So, so he was, uh, he up, said, so he said he was going to um, Israel and Jesus. He said a base, but he said he from Chicago. I said, we got a cap in Chicago. He said, oh, yeah, I watch all y'all. Watch all y'all. He said, man, he said, y'all here every week? I said, man, I said, just give me your number, bro. He wanted to meet everybody because I guess he been watching, man. So I said, man, I got your number, bro. We'll let you know we're going to be next week. So, hey, man, the Lord, hey, man, brothers, man. Gotta step up, bro. The door, the door dealing with us, man. Some yeah. brothers, come on with it. For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man had of his proper gift of the power. Mm -hmm. One right, right. So everybody got got their proper gift. Like being being a eunuch is actually a gift from the Lord, man. Right. So he was saying, hey, every man got they a proper gift, man. Huh. Go ahead. Right. Right. One after this matter and another after that. Mm -hmm. I say, therefore, to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I. But if they cannot contain, let them marry. Mm -hmm. For it is better to marry than to burn. Mm -hmm. And unto the married, I command ye not I, but the Lord, let hey. not the wife depart from her husband. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. Right, so if a woman, not now, if, if you notice in that, in that scripture, he said if the woman depart, let her remain unmarried. He didn't say if the man depart, let him remain unmarried. He said the woman, man. Right, right. So that, that link up with what? Uh, Romans, the seventh chapter, man. Con, yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Or be reconciled to her husband. Right, or you reconcile with your husband. Yeah, right. but, oh, so like, but in America, they got a, a thing called divorce, man. Yeah. The yeah. woman could take you to the, the, the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 have, and, and have a divorce and shit. And then if you're making a significant amount of money, she can take a money, your money. If you have more than one house, she can take a house, a car, you know. But it's not the same way. If, if, a, somebody, man, if a man divorce a woman, somebody get, get the you know what I'm divorce. saying? If, if a, you know what I'm saying? If a man divorce a woman, you know, it's gonna be. They make it a lot harder for him, man. God, yeah. They make it a lot harder for him, man. You know, because women be, be like, well, sign this prenup. You know. You know. You know, women, women, they always made women are always made out to be the victim. You know, in in, in, in any court situation. Twenty one. Because you know what, this system that we live in is geared towards women. It's geared, it's geared towards women. Only man this system can help is the white man, the so-called white man. And a lot of them get, get fucked over in divorce. Right. You know? First of all, ain't no business with another motherfucker coming. Hey, the scriptures say what the Lord brought bring together, let no man put a son. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So and ain't, ain't no way a woman's supposed to be able to go to another to a to a court system and tell you tell them look i don't want to be with this man no more and then they can legally 
get rid of you, man. There ain't no way, man. And if it, and if, if a woman if a woman did leave, she's supposed to never marry again, man. Uh, you know, first of all, a woman ain't supposed to leave at all, man. You know, if that man say no, you stay here. She's supposed to be like, okay. You know. Or if not, hey, we can put you to death for adultery, man. I mean, we can put you to death for uh, 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 buck, bucking up against your man. You know. But the, the woman, the, according to the scriptures, the woman do not have the right to divorce a man. You supposed to, if you married that man, you supposed to stick with him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why, the, that's why they always say, for, for better, for worse, richer or poorer. You know what I'm saying? That's a vow before the most high, man. You know, but in America, they make it easy for you to divorce, man. And remarry, hey, how you doing? They make it easy for you to divorce, divorce and, and remarry because the law, statute, and commandment of the Most High are not prevalent in, in, in this society, man. They don't look at it as being law, man. Matter of fact, they do the opposite of everything that's written in this book. Right. That's how you know this is Babylon the Great, man. Right. You got that? Deuteronomy 24, verse 1. It says, When a man have taken a wife and married her, and it comes to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he have found some, mm, unclean, is, is unclean, some uncleanness in her. It says, uh, then let him write her a bill of divorce mm -hmm. and, give it in t and give it in her hand and send her out of his way, out of his house. Right, so it wasn't no going to the courtroom and it wasn't no woman actually, a woman taking her husband to court to divorce him. It says, get her a bill of divorcement and send her about her way. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, hey, it's another scripture. If she go not, not as she have, have her to, I believe it's in uh, uh, Sirach. Go ahead. It says, and Nicolai. when she is departed out of out of his house, she may go and be another's man wife. Mm -hmm. And if the latter, and if the later husband hate her and write her a, a bill of divorce, and give and give it, it in her hand, and sendeth her out of his house. Or if the later husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may take, we may not take her again to be his wife after she is defiled. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, after she, have, you know, you know, after she's defiled, man, you know, like she had another man been with her. You know, the Lord made a, a description with that. He said, uh, you have played the harlot. You know, if a, if a woman played a harlot on her husband, he should say not not return, but ye have play, played the harlot, but, but yet return. Yeah, because you know, polluted. You know, because the woman is polluted, man. She, you know, first of all, when, when a woman is with, with, a, with a man, she is... It's, she takes on his spirit. In, in, in science, they say that she takes on his DNA. You know, she becomes spiritually bonded to that man. You know, they, they, their souls cleave to each other. You know, you know. So first of all, because his, his, his sperm. That's why yeah. when you when you basically you know ejaculating a woman. All right, them sperms are alive. Those are those are spirits, man. How you think they ever to know how to move to the egg, man, and get a woman pregnant? You know, because those that's that's a spirit, man. Yeah. And you know? if only one sperm makes it to the egg, what what do you think happened to the rest of them? They 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 become a part of that woman. You know, and they and they, they said they said that it, uh, women had traces of DNA. From from men that they had slept with pre prior to the to the uh, husband that they're with now, you know. You think about it, and that's that's why a lot of these women don't know what kind of man they want because they've been with so many different men and got so many different spirits on them. You know. Like Jesus met the woman at the well. We got five. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was still. I knew he was gonna pick up on it. Hey, see, you have you have so many different spirits on you. It's like these spirits are pulling you every different direction, man. You know? It's gonna sometimes cause you to be depressed or have some yeah. feeling you don't know where it's coming from. 
this coming from that person that you still soul tied to, yeah. that you didn't go to the most high to have me released from. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then, then when you come into the knowledge of the truth, the only way you can be purged is through fasting and prayer, man. You know? Because, you know, the scriptures say, well, hey, hey, they say if any man be in, in, in you know, the, in the Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed, be, passed away. Behold, all has become new. You know? You know, so like all of them, all of that, that sin you did, hey, that's that's all passed away, man. When you come, when you come into the true nature of the scriptures, all of that old stuff is passed away, man. You know, and if you get a woman that's that follow you according to the scriptures, you know what I'm saying. According to the the uh, scriptures, woman gonna be saved through childbearing anyway. Right. You know, so if, basically you could be a hundred percent right in the truth, and she could be a demon. You know, and she'll still make it up under you because you in the right, your right mind. She was being a demon to try to distract you because that was the Lord testing you, man. That's right. You know, but it was some more to that scripture. Hosea, uh, that's why he told him to get Hosea to keep going back and get his wife so Hosea can understand what God was going through with Israel. Right, right, you been studying, you been getting it. Not under the past. Hey, you've been doing this whole person. I know. I know that much. Hey, go ahead. Go back hey, that's the one, man. I got a four this What y'all what, got? I got Jeremiah 3 and 1. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get, 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 what y'all got? All right, uh, this is Deuteronomy 21 and 14. It says, It shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go. That's the one I wanted to. Go ahead. It says, uh, when that, it says, uh, and it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go, whether she will. Uh -huh. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make her merchandise of her, because thou have humbled her. It says, if a man have two wives, one love, uh, one one be loved and another hated. Yeah. And they have borne him child, both the beloved and the hated. Mm -hmm. And and if the firstborn, firstborn son be be heard that was hated then it shall be when he make of his sons inherit inherit then which he have that he may not make the son of the beloved first first uh, that he may they not get Roman 7 and 2. that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated which is indeed the firstborn it says but he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength. So basically, saying you, know, you have two wives, express that. And you know, you have one that was hated and one that was beloved. If the one that was hated had a son before the one that was beloved, you can't show that son no, you know, favoritism because he had because he was the wife of the hated. Yeah, right. That's why it was so hard for Abraham to put away uh, uh, Israel. Yes, man. Because the first one is supposed to inherit everything. Yep. That's why it was so hard for him. To, it was hard for him to deal with that. Oh, you know? oh, oh, get a bigger portion yep. than the says, second it, son. It says right there, yeah. double portion. Uh, double portion. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, it, it says, uh, but he shall acknowledge the son of, of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he had. It says, and he, it says, and he is the beginning of the of his strength. The right of the of the firstborn is is in him. It is his. Uh, this so I, uh, I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Esther. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Esther 1 22. For he sent letters unto all the king's proverb uh, provinces, unto the province according to the writ writing thereof, and to every people after their language, that every man should bear rule in his own house. And it shall be, and that it should be published according to the language of every people. Mm -hmm. Every man should be a ruler in his own house. Yep, yep. That's what he, he was getting at because earlier I was talking about, you know, we was talking about how a woman can take you into the court system and get a divorce when right. that's not in the, nowhere in the scriptures. That's right. Yep. You know, that's go right. ahead. All right. This is uh, uh, Sirach. Okay, you got it. Sirach 25, verse 26. If she go not as thou would have have her 
to go. To go. Are you familiar with the pack of Yeah. I'm gonna go up to 25. This one. Surat 25, verse 25. Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh. Basically, if she don't obey you, she goes not what is thou to have her, she don't obey you. Read. And give her a bill of divorce and let her go. You know, it was a common thing for Israel, a, a man of Israel to put away a wife. Just think about King David. King David, the woman laughed at him. You know what I'm saying? The woman laughed at him. What do he do? He said, you, you'll never bear children for me, man. Yeah. And he put the woman off, basically. You know, not to say, not to say he didn't deal with her as a wife, but he didn't That's allow like he didn't allow himself to, to uh, uh, um, put seed into her. You know? I got, um, you got something? Yeah, Jeremiah 3 and 1. Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's mother man, shall, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Yes, sir, it's greatly polluted. Right. You know? You know, hey, man, that's, and you know what? That's, that's you know, that's, true. that's, that's, that's what this world, fold. man. Yeah, it's double yeah, fold. yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Scripture's yeah. double fold. He said, yeah, shall not. Shall not he be greatly polluted? And that's but, talking about us, like if, if, if we if we serve if we uh, serving the Lord and we go off into a, another mm -hmm. God, right? You know what I'm saying? It's talking about that also, but it's plain too. You know what same, I'm saying? Yeah. Same as what he was saying. Because he's making Hosea. an example of Hosea. one thing with another thing. You know? Right. Same thing was in, in Hosea. Which the both 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 scenarios are wicked scenarios. Yeah. yeah. You know, but he is making a statement. You know. Go ahead, finish me. All right. Let's, let's go. Shall, uh, shall not thy land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yeah, yet, man. yet, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Hey, see, hey, man, that's, that's the grace and mercy of the Lord. Right. You know, you know, whom, whom we call Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which right. is in the Paleo Hebrew. And that goes into the uh, book of Hosea he mentioned earlier. You know, yeah, Hosea, yeah. the first chapter, that goes into that. That Israel went off, went off into these other gods, man. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what the uh, the tribesmen of South America when they, uh, the the Spanish came over to meet them, they greeted them in Paleo Hebrew. Yeah, that's right, brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's it, Glenn right. Beck? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Glenn yeah. Beck brought that out. He yeah, brought it he out. did. It was yeah. on he artifacts did. and everything. Yeah. And I read and I watch everything, any, every and anything that God it. say. Watch it, bro. Listen, look man. at this right now, and I'll be like, okay, and I just look. Or if hey, I'm in a library. Up, and hey, I'm well, going to get a that's, book, that's the and Lord he take me to, to you, another man. book, and I just get that book. I mean, it's yeah, how it yeah, is. the Lord speaking to you. Hey, man, you, you don't even belong in those churches, man. Hey, hey, I got something real quick for you, hey, This is all finished with it. Okay. Yeah. Nah, this for him, what you just yeah. said, oh, by him. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Ezekiel 33. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speaking to the children of Israel. Well, I'm getting to the point. Um, he said, uh, 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 Skip down to verse five. He said, "Hearken!" Uh, he said, "He heard and sound and turned and looked and warned, warning his blood that it be upon him. But he taketh warning; he shall he shall deliver his soul." He said, "But if the but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them." He is taken away, and he is in his own iniquity, and his blood is required of the watchman's hand. So, you warning the people, man. You doing your job. Your, the guy that's supposed to be so called over you, he's not doing his job. So the Lord is gonna take his ass away, and that's what's gonna. That's probably gonna. If that's what you waiting on, and the Lord know that's what you waiting on, and that's what's gonna be your. If that's gonna require your sign that you need to go, the Lord is gonna do that. You know, it might. He might do it that way, which is like I said. You know. You might have, you know, if you don't want that to happen, you praying that tell the Lord, go ahead and, because the Lord, you don't, sometimes we be praying, we want the Lord's will to be done, but, but you have to watch the Lord's will, what you pray for, because if you say, the Lord, well, let your will be done, hey man, the Lord might take, take his ass out, you know, you might, man, well, damn Lord, but one thing about us, 
we don't look at death like people of the world look at death. We look at death and we be like, man, that was mercy. Like Eric Garner, Eric Garner, all of that's mercy. We look at death like Job. Yeah, man. Yeah, we we look at it, we like, man, that's mercy. Because yeah, the things that's, that's coming. That's coming? Oh, yeah. yeah. To this place, man. It's, we wouldn't want to be here. Worse, hey, that's why worse. the scripture says people will Bi seek death and not find it. That's Bi right. Logical chemical warfare. Yeah. Martial law. Famine. Race wars. Famine. I mean, and, and just all out chaos, hey, man. It's only I'm, mercy if they really know the Lord. Well, <laughs> well Israel, no, all Israel going to make it, man. Mm -hmm.